So what up guys? Got the engine all dressed up somewhat. Went ahead and painted the block and everything, made it look a little bit cleaner. Just had a little bit of rustiness, you know. Honda's no coating on the blocks or anything. So I ended up figuring out something for the exhaust. It's not really exactly smog legal, but I went ahead and just cut the tubes slightly. And uh, I bent it inward just enough to where it still clears the, the axle and uh, it just clears that firewall there. I'm going to probably still bend the firewall in a little bit, but the only other thing I'm still looking at right now is those two heater, heater hoses right there. Uh, I'm thinking I might just cut that, uh, take that heater core out and maybe find a different one and run the hoses through a different section but not sure yet and it looks like the cord the battery will fit right where it needs to go right here I'm gonna go get the plate tomorrow and then this will actually just still mount where it's supposed to stock and then the ground goes straight to the body right there and then I have uh, my alternator fuse which I'm gonna run a, just an inline fuse from here to here pretty much and then this one powers the whole car and then here's the one wire for the starter uh, solenoid which is pretty easy I'll run that and then there's not much wiring on here got to drill another hole and then run the actual harness from the K series which is still pretty easy I mean, it's just a hole and then um, looks like the belt, I just got a, I got the clearance good on the belt. I just have to get a uh, different pulley here, something to tension the belt. And I was actually looking up for the header, um, I think it's K-Sport or K-Tuned or something. They make an actual um, header that goes down farther and clears more. I don't know if it's small legal, but um, they make a header for the actual like uh, EG Civics and stuff so I might actually look into getting that too if I can get like a small little one because I'm really really trying to make this into like kind of a clean little smog wheel swap <clears throat> but um yeah so uh, this is how it's been coming along spending some time on it keep you guys posted I'm gonna go get some axles tomorrow it's half off day at the pick and pull right now so next thing is uh, get some axles under there and cut them and see if I can make some custom axles. The C notch turned out pretty good. It's a little closer than I want it to be. I gotta I gotta get get under there and sand a little bit more, trim a little bit more. Just you know massage it, but it turned out pretty good. Lots of clear, lots of lots of area there. And the only other thing I'm not sure on is those axles, so I want to get those under there and uh, make sure it clears like this section. Because if I have to cut more there, then I might as well do it now before I have to weld uh, and paint. So we'll see. And I ended up picking up the cluster. I got the the um, this is the Honda Accord cluster. I'm hoping, because this is a CAN communication car, this only runs off of two wires from the ECU, or ECM, or whatever you want to call it, and the uh, problem with that is the check engine light runs off of that, and I don't know why they did that, it's kind of dumb. Check engine light and TAC actually run off of the CAN communication, so there's no way to put a check engine light on this stock ECU. So, um, I got this cluster, I'm hoping it'll work, I mean it looks, uh, let's see I'll power it up here, you guys can see it, I mean I think it looks pretty, looks pretty cool, let's see here, but it's, um, it's like a white face. I think that looks pretty cool if I can cut it down and somehow fit it in there. 
And this is the actual mileage for my motor too, so I got like the original mileage and everything on there. Which I think 191 ain't too bad. Uh, I just have to ground for the airbag and the ABS light and that turns that off. And then uh, figure out the fuel gauge, just a resistor. But I think I can make that fit in the Civic, but we'll see. That's going to be the next little, next little project as well, as well as the axles. But it's coming along. Got the, got to grind all these welds down. Hopefully, uh, if I can figure everything out this weekend, um, I want to get this thing painted. So I'll start showing you guys the paint process. Because, I mean, I'm pretty close. It's getting there. Just trying to get the engine and all the fabrication figured out. And uh, I'm also going to look at the brakes too. Because I, I heard those EG brakes, even the Integra maybe, are fit on this thing. So um, I'm hoping. But it's getting there. I mean, here it is. Got the, that's as low as she'll go right now. I'm going to try and get it a little lower. More videos to come, you guys. Stay tuned. Until next time, have a good one.